You know, everybody loves an egg in a hole. <laughs> but let's say you had one for breakfast at 7.30. By 8 o'clock, you were starving to death. You was. Because what? There's no meat on it. The ultimate breakfast sandwich. This will give you a reason to get up for breakfast. Hey, thank y'all for stopping by under the barn. Yes, it is. It is a beautiful day. Y'all be real, real quiet, okay? Because when we got up this morning, the wind was blowing about 40. Right now, it's just about 10. So we'll see can we get by this deal before it happens. But what are we talking about? Egg in a hole. This is not your typical egg in a hole sandwich. We're putting you a big old slab of pork sausage on there and then you toast it. Not only is it egg in a hole, but it is egg in a hole breakfast sandwich. I feel like this is combining all the great things about breakfast it is in a, a sandwich. Cause you got toast. Everybody likes some toast at breakfast, right? But when you just had toast and egg and you're thinking, I'm hungry. How, how come wasn't there no meat involved with this deal? Denny's, Everybody, I hop. everybody will be saying, we're going to put this on the menu. So, let's go ahead and talk about that sausage. Now, before you do this, get you some saran wrap, tin foil, get it on your cutting board on the counter. And with the rattling of the tin foil, we have someone that jumped out of the pickup that's been napping to join us. <laughs> it is the big, it is. So, here it is. Take you a little water, okay? Put it on there and then wet your hands. Because remember when we made them sausage balls, everything like that? Now we're going to say maybe it is a cup full of sausage. Now I'm going to go ahead and pack that down in there. And you're thinking, that is a lot of meat. Well, you don't want to be scrimping on none of it. You don't. So get her to where you like it there. Make sure, like I say, you got some of that water because it is of the utmost importance to make sure that everything is going to work here. Well, folks, I want it not ultra thin, but I want it pretty thin. So we're going to roll it out here. So let's see what took place in here. And part of it, well, I'll uh -oh. tell you what took place. It's called, uh oh, it's called we're going to start over because we had too much water. You watch this next time. There won't be enough water. <laughs> so get her back down here. You wouldn't have to have a rolling pin. You could just keep mashing. But let me tell you what I'm talking about here so everybody will know. They put a heel in a loaf of bread for one reason. You put it down here and you think, if we just made our sausage to fit that, it would not be big enough because it's going to shrink up. So I like to use them as a guide. And you can see if we sort of outline this, that's how much bigger we are than that piece of bread. Now, before we go any further, let's take this good old Wagner right here, which is really not a Wagner, a Griswold, pardon my intrusion. Lay it right there on the hasty bake. We got our plum full of hardwood lump charcoal, we do. Take you a little bit of Kerrygold butter because I want it to just fry. This stuff, somebody turned this on to me a long time ago, and I appreciate it because when they said Kerrygold, they were striking the right tune, they was. I had a lot of utensils here at one time. This stuff is true gold in the butter world. We just need about that much right there. Layer right over here in that skillet. You can see it did come off. Be ever so gingerly with it. It's like a pie crust. Just set it right in there. While that's cooking along, we're gonna set this skillet right here where it'll just be warming up. Get rid of this tin foil. You know what we ain't got out here? What? Eggs. <laughs> we'll go get them from Gladys. Have you bought them yet? Uh-uh. Yeah. Let's go for a field trip. He ain't going to get that off at fire, is he? Can you close it? Come on, folks. We oh, he'll get this, I know. I don't trust Cletus for a minute. Let's go on a field trip. We're going to see Gladys and the girls. Hi girls, there better be some eggs in here. Let's see what's happening. Excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me, how much are they today? Oh, sh oh, they done good today, they did. We got six. So we'll just go ahead and gather them all up. Gladys, I wanna thank y'all so much. 
You're looking pretty good, you are. I appreciate it. We'll give you credit in the video. Now, typically, with an egg in a hole, people would have a little deal about this big around, and they would just cut this in there. But really, if you just do a little bitty hole, you just get an egg in one little piece. So I, I, I like a rectangle. Do not discard this. This was here for a reason. So we'll put him right back up here, use him as a guide, because we want everybody to match up. Mage, how do you feel about it? Pretty good? Let me see the end result there. There we go. Nice. We are looking good. Now you can use whatever kind of bread you want from sourdough to anything else. Me and Shan really got to where we like this wheat bread, got all that grain in there. It is good. Hey, we're about to that point to where we need to flip the sausage and the rest of this is gonna take place right over there to Hasty Bake. About a tablespoon of butter at a time, that carry gold. And let's get it over that fire and get that skillet heated. While it's heating right there, we're gonna go ahead and move our bread right here. We got some cheese and we got some green onion and we got a fork and we got two cackle berries as fresh as they get, folks. I mean, these was mm, on the money they was. We got that butter melted right there. It is looking good. I just ask you to put that first one in there, give him a coating, turn him over, bring him back to the other side. We'll put them eggs right there where they belong for just a minute. Give this an, a coating as well, put him back on there. I want you just to talk to yourself for about maybe 30 seconds before you even begin to crack them eggs because we want that toast to be browning really well as we get ready to flip these here in a minute. Now, do not crack an egg here. Why? because it runs down the side of a nice clean skillet. Crack it on a hard surface and just let her go in there. Oh my gosh. We'll get this other one right there with it. I need you to take a knife or a fork and just mix all this up. Then I want you to take the green onion, give them a little dab in each one of them. It is probably time to flip the sausage over one more time. Oh, things is looking good. It is. A little salt and pepper would be really nice at this time. Remember these little pieces? We got to have them. Put them right down in there. Get a little bit of that butter right there on them. Now, we just going to go ahead and give them a sprinkling of finely shredded cheddar cheese. Not just on the egg, folks, but everywhere. Same thing on this one. You can see how fast them little things toasted up there. So when they get to that color, this one likes a little, he went right over here. Go ahead and just put him back in there. When you squash this down like that, that egg be running down there on the bottom. So here's the other one going in the same place. See how that egg squished around? Oh my gosh. This is gonna be called fine dining. Let's take a look at this first one. Ooh, things is happening right along they are. There's that other one. Now you could be thinking to yourself right here, how come we don't put some more cheese on it? Oh, we gonna, I'm telling you, we are gonna for sure. It'll give it some crispy on the other side. You gotta be really careful with that too because it might burn. So let me turn the fire down just a tad. How did this, you come up with this idea? Well, I got to thinking, we was looking for something for a breakfast video and I'm thinking, you know, folks, this would be a pretty good ideal. So I got in the kitchen the other day and tried it for the first time and took it to Shannon. She said, oh my gosh, I think you're onto something. So let's take this and see what's happening under here. Give him a little flip. Cause we want that cheese over there to get good and melted. One more coating of cheese, folks. You can't get enough cheese, you just can't. We're gonna let that bread toast good on that other side and melt that cheese. Then this piece of hog meat is going right over there on the top. And remember, 
that piece that you cut the top out of, remember, we cut a little rectangle, that thing needs to end up on the top, folks, because look at all that cheesy goodness, and it on sort of keeps, yes, of the bread, right? outside, keeps everything from exploding out the top if you didn't cook that egg long enough, and ooh, we done topped that thing off right on top, that sausage with what? Some of our good chutney we did, folks, that thing goes well on some eggs, but it goes well on nearly everything. Okay, so, I have to say, I mean, I don't know that the camera is doing this justice, because this is one of the most beautiful creations I've seen you make in a, a long time. I mean, all your cooking is good. Oh my God. But this, oh like, looks amazing. Oh my gosh, Maze, did you hear that? Come here, I want you, I want you to talk to everybody Mom was sort of making me think that maybe so some of this stuff hadn't been as good as it ought to be. Oh, you know when you get that cheese on a pizza that is sort of out there on the end of the crust that yes. gets all sort of crustied up and crispy? Mm. 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 Oh. <sighs> Namaste. I'm going to stay I am because mm, I've had some really good help. I have. So let me find them all. Cletus. 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 Time to, time to be on camera, Cletus. Come on. And here is the mage, the duker, the lulu. There you go, Cletus. Cletus, I think that is the first breakfast. No, you ain't getting no more, buddy. You sure ain't. Folks, this is a treat. Breakfast just got moved up to three times a day with this deal, I promise you, it is so good. Now, I've had a lot of folks keep commenting, hey, where you get your hat? And folks, this is a good looking hat. From my good friend, Chaz Mitchell, just go chazmitchellcustomhats.com. There'll be a link down there where you can find one. Keep an eye on that events page because that book tour is up on us, it is. And a big thank you goes out to Yeti because we're going to be stopping at a lot of their stores we are, but also Layman's there in Kidron, Ohio because we're going to be sickling right through there. And guess what big news? We just landed as a new sign in there at Atwood Store in Yukon, Oklahoma. But it is with great pride, privilege, and honor that I tip my hat to all our servicemen and women and all the veterans who have kept that old flag of flying back there. We commend you all and stay safe and God bless you. Rest of you, come on up in here. I'm gonna give you a big old breakfast, dinner, and supper hug. <laughs> I mean, that's what I'm talking about. And whew, God bless you each and every one, and I'll see you down the best egg in the whole sandwich trail ever. Crusty cheese, that's what's amazing. Mm. And then you get like that little bite of egg that's kind of runny. Because yeah. I thought when you scramble it, you were going to scramble it through, but you don't. You kind of leave it to yeah, it's it. Yeah, that's good. I got peanut.